Yo, what's going on guys? So lately a lot of people have been asking me what my opinion is on this whole James Charles situation. Recently the big drama across social media has been this makeup artist Tati Westbrook destroying that man, the makeup guru himself, James Charles. <coughs> you women just do the best job of making racists and idiots rich and famous by the way. Then y'all really have the audacity to go complain that men take all the high paying jobs, yelling through megaphones about equal pay, talking about Where's the girl bosses at? How come there's no female CEOs? And then you guys don't even support your own kind in a field where the consumer market is literally dominated by women. But that's just my tea for the day, sisters. What I'm really here to talk about is that man that everyone's calling a sexual predator, the dude who lost 2.5 million subscribers in three days, that man JC. And from the view of a straight man who merely sips some of this drama tea from time to time, I mean once every blue moon I'm on with a basically commentary challenge for chicks and gay guys, where they talk about the endless drama that runs the internet, and all I gotta say is from the outside looking in, it's really not looking good for our buddy JC. And since my demographics tell me that mainly men are gonna be watching this video, I'm just gonna give a quick rundown of the situation. Cause you can bet your ass I sat there glued to the screen watching this whole 40 minute bye, bye sister video. I had no idea who or what she was talking about half the time, but fuck it, this tea kettle was boiling. Am I doing the thought talk right? Cheers! The motherfucking tea! From the time that I met him when he was 17, before he really had taken off on YouTube at all, I know that he has a way of just getting what he wants. The main gist of the video is that James backstabbed her by taking an affiliate deal with a company that Tati considers her rival, and this basically caused her to proceed to throw him under the bus and make the claim that he harasses straight men constantly, using his fame as leverage to get them to consider being gay with him, which I'm sorry, but no amount of money or fame could ever make me suck a dick, especially not this guy's. More cheese, sir. No, not more cheese, but I will take more of that dick. But ever since this video came out, he's been getting absolutely flamed across every single social media, and a lot of his fans have actually turned on him and onto Tati's side at this point. I mean, she literally almost doubled her sub count from 5 to 10 million after this 50 million view explosion that her video got. Wow. Right? Yeah. Great. Amazing. I'm just confused, like, did no one think this guy was kind of a scumbag before? I've never really thought of him as a good person in general. And I'm really questioning if this woman would have even came forward with this information had he not teamed up with one of her competitors. That's just my tea for the day. I really gotta say, on the whole sexual predator thing, the chances are if you're a man leaning towards doing something gay, like wanting to kiss another guy, you're probably supposed to end up with another man. And I don't want you guys to misconstrue what I'm saying, what he did was still really, really wrong. I mean, especially for dudes who are questioning their sexuality, there's really no reason to be applying this pressure, you little troll doll. Honestly, bro, it's not like you're even a handsome gay dude. Even with all that makeup on, you're still like a four. I mean, you know it's bad when these guys were thinking about being gay, thinking about doing stuff with another man, and then they met you and you completely completely turn them 100% straight. You literally got money falling out your ass, buddy. You need to go hire a trainer and go lift some weights. Wearing those assless chaps. Fuck you, dude. I'd bet good money that there's a longer line of gay guys who want to punch this dude in the face for being a poor representation of their community than wanting to be with his creepy ass. This guy James has been popular for a few years now, and every time I see his face or hear his voice, I really wonder why people even like him at all. He seems to have the personality of an elitist soccer mom who has no real reason to think they're the shit, but for some reason they're just all up in your face acting like they're the greatest thing since backwoods were invented. And about the guys he's harassed who weren't even questioning their sexuality, it's honestly really disrespectful to be hitting on anyone who's obviously not interested. Hold the tips and push them together. Push the tips together. Oh, Don't say that. Stop pushing the tips together. Stop. And then my stick can go into the box. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's like the guy who keeps hitting on the lesbian chick saying that he can make her straight. It's really just a disrespectful clown ass thing to do. I actually remember when I was working retail a few years back, when I first got hired, one of the only people that would talk to me was this gay guy. And I was really nice about it. I always told myself that it was all good as long as he knew that we were just friends and that's all we were ever gonna be. But one day, this guy had to go out and throw out one of those Hey, you smell really good today. to me in front of everyone. And I really had to shut that shit down real quick with a Yeah, thanks bro. And I gave him the eyes that said move the fuck out the way I got work to do. Long story short, we didn't end up talking so much after that. Listen guys, I can be friends with gay guys, but they have to be comfortable enough with their own sexuality to understand that I'm not interested in them in that type of way. I actually had another gay co-worker who was really cool with me and never made me feel like he was coming on to me in any way, shape, or form. And I just found it interesting how the first gay dude made me extremely uncomfortable from the jump, trying to basically get my peen in his jaws, while the second one was literally just a homie. And I wanted to see if there were any videos where he interacts with quote-unquote 
straight men. And I found this video that was actually only made a few weeks ago called The Truth my crush does my makeup and considering this video was just made it's aged like a nanner left out in the sun too long basically the video is just james making this young drake bell very uncomfortable for 20 minutes straight that's right i sat through 20 minutes of this shit show just for y'all i seriously better get some likes on this video i'm getting some of that hey sister ptsd man fuck this hi sisters 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 hi sisters, hi sisters. shut the fuck up but in this video, he just hits on him the entire time, and this dude is trying to be nice, but he's obviously not interested in Mr. Charles, despite being the pretty boy he is. First of all, we met one time during the video, and then, and then all of a sudden, I'm the guy that broke your heart in yeah. London. Well, I've never even been to London. But I, James, I James, <laughs> James, clear this up first. I, Jeff is a straight man. And James even has the audacity to bring up the topic that he believes that most people are not completely straight or gay, but they're just on some big sexuality spectrum. I know how you flirt. You used to flirt with me. You did flirt with me in that video. I'm just being sarcastic, though. Mm, no. I mean, like, yeah, I'm being nice and, like, I'm, like, joking around, but I don't want to mess with anybody's heads here, you know? I'm picturing the memes that are going to be made from the zoom in to me. Like... What am I thinking in my head right You're taking now? it all in. I'm taking it in. Yeah. No, I, I get it. I think it's just sense. like it's... This guy Jeff is getting all sweaty wondering if he'll ever leave this room untouched. And just look at the way that James is looking at him. He's just so in love. Or maybe I should say he's so in lust. And he's just trying so hard for this whole video to make it seem like this guy is teetering between gay and straight. And he's really just not having it. Thank you again. It's my incredible, Thank beautiful you. future husband, Jeff. Um, we love you and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. This guy's just thinking about what his friends, his family, and his girlfriend are gonna think when they see this one. I mean, how disrespectful is it that this guy has a girlfriend and James is still flirting with him this hard? Just look at his face. Jesus Christ. I mean, I guess anything for those sweet, sweet cloud tokens, huh, Jeff? He actually went on his own podcast recently and said this. Like, just like when I collaborated with him and, you know, he said some things that were like a little flirty. And I was like, hey, man, not gay. Let's move on. That was the end of the story. So people saying that, like, Oh, he's using his fame and power to manipulate people to have sex with him. You just say no, and then it's over <laughs> with. What's the big deal? Why is he like having a big uh, cancel party? So, you know, I'm kind of on the fence about this whole situation here. Is James Charles thirsty for straight men? Absolutely. Does that make him a predator? Probably not. But he's still a huge dickhead who needs to be kicked off his high horse. And maybe this will make him realize that he can't do or say whatever he wants simply because he's rich and famous. But should he be canceled? I'll let you guys decide. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this whole situation. I want to thank you guys for watching, subscribing, and liking the video. Y'all have really been coming through on the likes lately. So I really appreciate that, man. It really means a lot to me. It helps me to be in the recommended section it also helps me when you share the video so i appreciate all that guys i got a lot of love for you let me know what you think about the situation down below yeah i'll catch you this weekend peace i think i leveled up so i'm feeling unstoppable make you stick it up boy i'm popping like a popsicle hurdle many obstacles dodge a couple bullets try and send me to the hospital now you know I'm hot dog, young Mickey Mouse when I drop off Always shaking hands, I never fall off Now I go into the mall and drop